Al, are you ready for a lot of backstory and to get to full strength this episode? Mm-hmm. It's a whole lot happening in this episode. Just things keep happening. Yeah, and, and more Big Chonker. It's a happening. Yes, Big Chonk. Big Chonk. Big he chonk. does the lick. What a chonker. Well, lick, 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 lick. <laughs> oh, God. Like that, not Alex. No. <laughs> Uh, hello, welcome to this week's episode of Jared and Al Watch Love Live Superstar is episode number eight. I'm Jared, joined as always by Doc Al and Ladium. Hello. We are watching season one, episode number eight of Love Live Superstar, which is called Connecting Feelings and has the the latest late title card you could ever imagine. Yeah, no kidding. Because it's the very end of the episode. Yep. It was like melded in with the like next week episode preview. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, right, they didn't even show this. That's, huh. And also it's interesting, I think, as well, because it subverts the idea that they've been using this entire time where, like, the title card is imbued into, the, like, the environment somewhere. This is just a regular title card. Yep. So that's interesting. Uh, so it was very hard to not get spoiled about what this episode is. Or at I least, like, the big, thing that, the big thing that was going to happen this week. And the whole time, like, before watching this, I was like, this seems real soon for her to join up. But then I had to remember, like, oh, this is episode eight. We have five episodes potentially remaining. Yeah. Like, this season's almost over. Like, other seasons are already over yeah. of shows. And it's like, oh, right. Yeah, I guess this this has, this has to happen now or it's going to be real late. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, I, I assumed that that was the case. When you're like, oh, man, spoilers are really hard to avoid. I was like, oh, well, I assume she's going to join up then. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not see any spoilers, but I just look, I went onto YouTube like Sunday morning or not Sunday morning because I was not up in the morning Sunday afternoon, <laughs> and the first like video on YouTube recommended was just the song from this episode, and I was like, oh, all right, well, <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I guess I know what anything. happens there. <laughs> well, you knew some of it. You knew. You knew. You knew that she would join up. I assumed that, but I didn't know the journey of how we were going to get there. Right. I mean, I didn't know that either. That was just the, I just knew like, hey, Ren's joining this episode. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it was very hard to navigate those waters. <laughs> and I mean, we basically started this episode at the very, like, where we left off the last episode of like her in her house explaining things. Correct. Um. So, yeah, she basically kind of gives a more of a little backstory of, like, her family situation and everything. She's like, yeah, my dad left. My mom's dead. She made the school because she liked her old school and wanted to put something there in its place. And now they're both gone. She overworked herself, and that's basically why she died. Also, we don't have money, and, oh, boy, I'm stressed. <laughs> Things are bad. Things are bad. All right, now please leave my house. Chibi, you can go lick Khan on a bit. And also, also don't hey, tell anybody this. Keep this between us. Like, I don't want things to get even more tense between me and the students. Like, that would be bad. Or I don't want to, like, give them anxiety about the situation, the school and everything. And they're like, all right, cool. We can do that. So they head back to the school, like, the following day. And they're, like, practicing on the roof. And they're trying to figure out, okay, what can we do to make this situation not bad? Because this is a very volatile situation right now that yep. could basically become a powder keg at any moment yep and they see a bunch of girls confront ren with their petition to not do the the festival and ren's like Keep... <laughs> take it to the student council which you're the president of you're the president <laughs> and she walks away she's like yep. oh i hate her she's got an attitude and con and the girls are just like <sighs> We gotta do something. Mm -hmm. ah. So they, so Conan basically is like, all right, let me go talk to everyone, see what's up. So she goes and talks to both groups, and basically nothing gets resolved, and just everyone is still mad. And Cuckoo it, and inadvertently decides she's gonna stop us from meeting school idols. Yeah, down with her. And everyone's like, no, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> stop Cuckoo that. Decides to like start a revolution. <laughs> um, so whereas like underneath a desk at one point. She doesn't want to talk to anyone. Nope. He's like, what? stop saying the same thing. And Connor's just like, why don't you say something? And Super is just like, mm, I refuse. Like I said, Cuckoo's over there in the corner starting a revolution. Yeah. 
I love Cuckoo. She's real good. Uh, She's so real good. They head back to the club room and they're just like, all right, well, that didn't help in the slightest. Everything is still very bad. And Ren's like, yeah, that's kind of my fault. Maybe I shouldn't have said what I said at the assembly. They're like, well, what were we, what, what's, what's the deal? And Ren's just like, I kind of have to do another one now and come up with a solution because the director's like, hey, you got to do this or there's no festival and I don't know what to do. What's the deal with Ren? <laughs> and I think they bring up like the whole school idol thing and they're like, hey, why do you hate school idols? Why were you so against us being school idols, basically? And Ren kind of comes out with like, hey, you know, like I originally was going to come to the school because, you know, my mom made it and everything and I wanted to take the mantle that she used when she was a student and she was a school idol here, but they weren't school idols at that point. Mm -hmm. They weren't called that at that point. So I was going to come here and do the same thing to let this school be known to gather more students and everything. But then when I went through all of like her records or like all like the school records and everything from the previous school, there was no indication that school idols or her idol activities existed. So I kind of got it into my mind, like, well, maybe she regretted doing all this stuff because I remember her telling me about it as like a kid, but I don't remember what she told me. So now when I can't find all this information, I don't know what exactly it meant to her. Maybe she regretted it. Maybe she hated doing it or she come to hate it later on in her life and now she doesn't want to do it. So that's kind of why I've had this, you know, negative mindset towards y'all because I don't know her feelings on this and I don't know my own feelings on this. Mm hmm. And also she mentions that like her mom and the other girls that she was idols with did it so they could save that old school from being closed, but they failed. They failed. And that's why basically Ren's mom built this new school in the place of the old school because, you know, it's a place that meant something to her and she wanted to, you know, create new feelings for other students that would be coming, you know, later on essentially. Yeah, I was kind of, like, mind-blown for a minute. I was like, oh, wow, school idols in the 80s and 90s. Interesting. Which makes sense. I mean, like, you know, there's not, like... Idol culture was a thing then still. Yeah, totally. Like, I, I like the idea, though, that, like, you know, it was a way... Like, it was something that was happening, but, like, wasn't, like, this officially recognized idea, like, where there's competition... Like, official competitions or stuff like that, where, like, all schools around the country are doing it. But, like, maybe there's just, like, you know schools here and there that are doing it here like you know and like they'll do like these unofficial competitions or something like that mm -hmm. um i do like as well that they kind of alleviate i think some of our fears of doing the whole saving the school angle again for the third time by making it more like you know here's ren's mom who has done this and failed and ren is wants to come to the school and basically try and make sure that doesn't happen again mm -hmm. but then she has all this other like conflicting thoughts in her head that she doesn't know how to deal with and then here comes Kana and the girls and she's like uh, what do I do with this I don't know but you know it makes it so it's not just hey we're trying to save the school because the school is gonna get shut down it's more you know there was a school here and it totally got shut down and that's just mm -hmm. the thing that happened and Ren's mom essentially wanted to build up a new school but a lot of things happened where she was able to make the school but it's basically just like teetering on thin ice, essentially. Yeah, this is this is a legacy of a of a failed school, honestly. Yeah, which is kind of interesting, but mm -hmm. yeah, um, finances here a little yikes. The little yikes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> which I guess, in all honesty, are still not solved by the end of this episode. No, absolutely not. This is going to be interesting. So yeah, Ren, we get all that Ren backstory and everything, and. Kanan essentially they like they leave school and everything they're trying to figure out okay what do we do now so they uh they get permission to go search the library to try and you know find stuff about to see, see if they can find information about the idol activities that Ren's mom did and everything and Ren kind of pops in and is like yeah I've searched all this there's nothing here mm -hmm. so I don't know what to I don't know what to tell y'all um I gotta go do this assembly uh you know I'll figure something out. I don't know what I'm going to say, but we'll figure it out. And then Conan runs out because she remembers something. She's like, hey, you gave us the keys to the idol club room, which, by the way, they also mentioned that, like, 
there was like when they go to that room, there's a placard that says School Idol Club. Yeah. So like this has been a like I guess Ren's mom essentially made the school and was like, Hey, eventually kids are gonna to want to be school idols, so I'm making a club room for them. And also, you know, she was a school idol herself, so like why not keep that legacy here? And she even says like Oh yeah, it's like an older looking placard. Yes. Um, so yeah, she she mentioned or Conan mentions like, hey, you gave us the keys to the club room and everything, but there were two keys on it. And we, we knew had, that was gonna come back up. We had mentioned earlier on, like, yeah, there was two keys on that keychain, but she only used one. What was that second key? And now finally we have the answer to the second key. This was this was Chekhov's gun here. Yes. Um, which I'm glad they kind of circled back around to. Yeah. Um so Conan runs rushes back to the club room and is like looking for something. She's like, there was something we saw here on the first day. I know there was something here we saw on the first day, but that that, was, that has to tie to this. So she like rushes through the main club room. She goes into storage and is looking around and like Cuckoo and Chisada are like, I, was there something here? I don't know. And Sumer is like, well, there, I don't know. I wasn't here, so I can't tell you. <laughs> Shrug shoulders. She finds like a small chest that has like, mm-hmm. like a, that is locked and has a keyhole. And she's like, hmm. Uh, we cut to the assembly where Ren's like, uh, sorry about everything. I think I confused y'all, and I know a lot of people are mad about that and everything, so that's my bad. And then, like, the general assembly students start yelling, like, hey, what's the deal with this this thing? We can't even be seeing on stage. This sucks. Are you going to disband school idols, too, and everything? What's the deal with the festival? <laughs> <laughs> It's the second time we've made that joke. Yes. Nice. Um, so she's basically having a breakdown up on the stage because she's like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And then Conan and the others like bust through like, hey, we've got something we want to say. And the director's and like, sure, go up. Have the director's fun. like, hey, go on stage and everything. Um, this is where I made mention to you and you had also had the same idea that like the director had to have been tied to that group, that original group at some point because it made sense the way she's like, you know, like, hey, cool, go up there on stage and tell them about this stuff. And also yeah. with how, like, she had been very cool with them wanting to be a school idols and everything. Mm-hmm. To where she was, like, you know, blocking Ren from, like, making them not do that. Yep. So, like, it made sense in hindsight. Yep. Um. So, Kanan goes up to us on stage and, like, shows Ren this notebook. And she's like, hey, we found it. This is, like, the this is the legacy your mom left. And, like, you know, she... Definitely, she she has notes in here about, you know, connecting feelings and everything. Because that's what uh, this school, the Yui Gaoka, was supposed to be based on, was Ren's mom's idea of connecting people through music. Yep. Connecting their feelings together through that. And in this notebook, it's basically got the same ideas and everything. And she, like, opens it up, and you see all these, like, pictures of them doing idol activities and her mom being happy and everything. She's like, your mom did not regret this. She totally loved, she loved doing it. this. Yeah. And Ren has this, like, flashback to where her mom's like, yo, those memories were, like, some of my best memories of my life. And she's like, oh, oh. And Ren just, like, starts breaking down because she's like, oh, I I remember all this now. I know, like, I understand everything now. Which I was making a joke that, God, that was the best moment of my life. And I'm like, yeah, screw you being stuff, man. (laughs) And, like, being at school, I don't rule. Yeah. Also, we got to see... Big chonker as a little chonker. Big chonker. Again, which is good. <laughs> also, they uh, they give uh, Ren the dress her mom wore when she was a kid, and like that also just makes her break down even more. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, totally. But yeah, they're like also here have her outfit. Yay! She's like, ah. <laughs> and then and they then go to everybody like starts clapping. Everyone's like, yay! Things seem okay now. I guess I don't know. <laughs> It's so weird. Like even Conan just starts clapping. I'm like, everyone just loves an clapping. Emotional breakdown on stage, and you guys are clapping about it. <laughs> Yay! Emotional breakdown. Yay! <laughs> we student president, council president. You have cried. emotions. Yay! Yay! Uh, so after so after that, they head to the director's office, and the director's like, "Hey, I got a bunch of other stuff for you." And they're like, why didn't you show us this before? And she's like, yeah, Ren's mom didn't want me, like, telling you, I guess, for whatever reason. And, you know, she wanted me to, like, look out for you and all this sort of stuff. But now I can show you all this stuff. It's cool. 
and they're like, why are you talking like so casually? She's like, this is just how I normally am. I'm the cool director now. The cool Ayy. director. Finger guns. Pew, 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 pew. She didn't actually finger her gun, but I wish she, she had. She should have. Um, and then they go out to like the courtyard and they show Ren that like they're making this big stage and everything and everyone's working together. And then Khan's like, hey, hey, just go out with us, son. And everyone's like, I can't. I was real mean to y'all. I can't <laughs> do it. And Khan's like, I don't care. I want to sing with you. And then she's like, okay, let's shake hands. And everyone, everyone claps. There's also like, a wind that like pushes her towards Kanan. Metaphor. Metaphor. It's as if her mom's giving her that push. What? I know. What? All right, hey, time to awkwardly clap again. I am a literary major, so I can see through these metaphors. It's true. It's true. And then we get like a training montage where everyone's building up stuff for the festival and Ren's getting accustomed to working with the girls now. And Conan's like, hey, do you want to be the center of this new song we're doing? And they're like, all right, cool. Let's do that. <laughs> Your figure skating is coming in handy here. Da -da -da -da. And Yay. then they uh, they go up on stage and they perform a song, Wish Song. Which actually gets like a lot of time. It might not be in a lot of time because it's just new and I hadn't seen it before. But it mm -hmm. felt like it was like a longer... It did feel like song. that. And it probably was partially because we didn't get credits this week, so... No, we got credits. Well, I mean, like, we get credits during... Not the... We didn't get the credits song, you're right. Yeah, so, like, this was kind of, like, a replacement of that, yeah, yeah. in a sense. So, yeah. The girls are at full strength now. Now we need a name. Because cool. They just ended like, we're the school idols! Yeah. So, yeah, next time is essentially that the episode is like, what is your names? So, like, I'm assuming that's where we're going to get Liella as a name. Because mm -hmm. you kind of have to do that where we're running out of time with the episode and all that. Or the the season, I should say, and all that. Yeah. Um. So, that'll be cool. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how, like, they come up with, like, the reasoning behind it. Yeah, I'm curious, too. So that will be uh, interesting to say the least. I'm uh, I'm curious as well to see like one of the things I had thought of when the director decides she's going to be cool director now. Cool director. Sunglasses on. Sunglasses on. Hey. Hey. If she's, she's going to the fawns. <laughs> if she's going to be like the the teacher in K-On. Oh, that's an interesting. Where she like she just she's just the cool director now, but also is like a mentor to them because like mm -hmm. she 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 mentions that like she wasn't in the group that she was Ren's a mom. supporter. She was a supporter, but like she had been she would been around all that stuff, so like she could give them advice in here and there and do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and I mean, even a supporter could be like somebody who is like the gals in uh in Sunshine who were like around all the time and were helping mm -hmm. them like build sets and stuff. Like they they would have been somebody who could give you some advice even if they weren't actively idols totally so i could see that being the same kind of situation here i think that'd be a i think that would be a neat idea especially in this you know overall the grand scope of the entire series of like because like there really hasn't been that idea of like former idol or like someone attached to former idols like coming in to character. help yeah so i think that could be a real interesting idea if they decide to go down that route mm -hmm. um so that's cool or potentially cool because I don't know. Potentially if cool. it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and and one thing that I mentioned, um, that I feel like is worth mentioning, uh, uh, while we're recording, is that like all of the stuff in the notebook, like all of the statements she wrote and everything, felt super aqua. Mm -hmm. Like I I got like <laughs> aqua vibes from that, which was nice. But there's like, yeah, even though we failed, like we 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 connected and we made memories and um we still wanted to like perform for the school. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh man. This Which is, is like it's one of the good things that like, you know, taking the team who did the original Love Live and having them do something now is that like they have all of this like, you know, time that has been in between original and superstar to where like you can take elements from Sunshine and apply them here. Cause like the idea that, you know, idols trying to save their school and everything and failing is like is not going to be just one ubiquitous idea like that's mm -hmm. going to happen all across the country at that point. oh yeah 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 it's not going to work for everybody and especially using that idea but tweaking it to where it's like this happened 20 30 years ago 
Right. And now it's happening again, essentially. Like that that whole notion of like, oh, we got to save the school, save the school and try again. So I think the way they have kind of, like we mentioned earlier, like basically flipped the idea of, you know, the saving the school angle and not just made it, oh, we got to save the school because, eh. and actually given it like some decent backstory to it and, you know, made it meaningful definitely Mm -hmm. helps to, you know, alleviate some of those concerns we had last week. Yeah, totally. I was just excited to hear like some echoes of Aqua, basically. Like, totally, yeah. It definitely wasn't Aqua, um, but you just got a lot of the same feelings there, and I was like, you know what, I like that. I like that a lot because I mean, it's like the first time they've even done that in this this series so far. Because like, yeah, the Sunny Passion stuff was also very Aqua esque. So, mm-hmm. can you not knock down the lamp? That'd be pretty cool. No, I'm here to knock down that lamp. Pa-pa. No. No. <laughs> Gremlin cat. Anyway, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that like the whole time that they were doing the little monologue of uh of her reading the notebook. I was like, "Man, this is this is some aqua vibes here. I'm digging it." Definitely. Um so obviously we know at next episode we're probably getting name mm-hmm. which leaves like four episodes left essentially. If this is going to be 13 like usually Love Life series are. Mm-hmm. I'm real curious to see where they go from here because obviously we have talked about love live briefly mm-hmm. briefly do we is, do you think there's enough time to make an attempt <laughs> Oof. i mean you could do a lot in four episodes you can because usually the formula is hey you try you fail next season you win yeah and also we have to see like sunny passion come back and see the group at full strength and potentially have some tension there mm-hmm so there's definitely some stuff that's going to happen, but like I'm curious to see how they're going to wrap this season up. Yeah, I agree with you. Because I have no idea. I mean, I, I assume that it's going to be similar to what you just said of the fail and then season two is succeed, but how they're going to get to that point, I'm not sure. Right. We'll see. We got a, we got a few more episodes left to figure that out. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Let's talk about some notes and trivia. Okay. Real quick. Uh, the the end card for this week is of all of Liella. Because they're all together cool. now. Yep. Paul backs to previous Love Life series. Apparently this is just like how other student council presidents eventually softened and joined their other groups. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. All right. And then continuity notes. Hey, remember the key? It was mm-hmm. important. Yeah. <laughs> How did they not mention the like uniform that like the the stage outfits are a callback to her mom's uniform? Like that seems like an actual note that would be interesting to mention. Well, that's what happens when it's a fan wiki. <laughs> okay, well And the episode's I'm, been out for like twenty four hours. <laughs> I'm here to say that another interesting note is that the outfits that they all wear at the end of the performance are a callback to her mom's outfit that she has in in the notebook and the one that they give her on stage which is a neat idea what if liella was her mom's group's name Ooh. And that's how they justify it interesting because i assume at some point you're gonna have to bring up the, mo- the that group name yeah or like I mean, sure have it just the be notebook somewhere fig- like have it just be a thing where like they talk about it right hmm have again like a an aqua situation of like aqua 1.0 and aqua 2.0 mm-hmm. it makes sense and i mean it would it would it would continue on the legacy like they want so that'd be a cool idea I'd, I'd be fine if that's the way that they come to the name i think it would be real interesting if like this whole series kind of becomes this idea of like generational idols Mm-hmm. Or it just becomes like a a legacy, like you said. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. It'd be but really again, cool. We will we will see. I guess next week we will figure out if that's the case or not. Or if those yeah. be like, uh, I don't know. We threw it, we made up a bunch of names and threw it at a dartboard and it landed on the yellow. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> so yeah, we'll learn about all that next week. But for now, that's gonna do it for this episode. Mm-hmm. 
We connected our feelings. Yeah, we did. It's true. Good for us. Good for us. Good for them. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, clap. Everyone clap. Everyone clap. So, yeah. If you would like more from us, head on over to SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com or SAC.Cool. where you can find past episodes of this podcast and other podcasts like Seasonal Anime Checkup OVA. You can also find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you'd like more from Ann Ladium, go to AnnLadium.com. She's got columns and reviews. You can follow us on Twitter and TikTok at Anime Checkup. And you can buy our books, One Shining Moment of Critical Analysis of Love, Life, Sunshine, and Hot Tubs and Pac-Man on Amazon.com. So join us next week as we dive into Season 1, Episode Number 9 of Love, Life, Superstar, where it's called... What are your names, or what is your name, or something? Your we're name? gonna we're gonna figure out names, yeah, or a name, because we know everyone else's names. Yeah. 